So if I enable deep freeze in this policy, then anytime I restart a workstation running this policy, it will restart in its original state. So any local files introduced by the user or from anywhere will disappear on restart. So that's a very powerful layer of security because anything bad that's happened, I recover from that immediately. Most help desk tickets are gonna disappear and my hardware is gonna last longer because every session starts with a fresh machine. Okay, so I've got some options on how I deliver deep freeze. The first tab here is password. So I can set up to 15 different passwords for accessing deep freeze locally. I can exclude drives from deep freeze if I wish. So for example, I could say that files in the E drive, I don't want them to be eliminated on a restart. I can set some workstation tasks so I can deliver Windows updates alongside deep freeze so I can set a Windows update task say maybe on a Thursday at two o'clock in the morning and I want that to end at say three o'clock in the morning or when the Windows update completes I can wake the devices up at two in the morning and then shut them down afterwards so deep freeze will disable itself the Windows updates deliver and then the devices are shut down again after the task window. So I'm always restoring to an up-to-date machine while still maintaining the benefits of deep freeze. I have a few other options around how Windows updates are delivered. So do I want to cache my Windows updates or not? And where do I want to retrieve them from? The Microsoft Windows Update website or WSUS. I can set some other workstation tasks. So for example, I could say like an idle time. If my devices are idle for 20 minutes, I want them to restart or shut down and a restart will clean the computer out. So that might be appropriate in, for example, a library or a school type setting. I can use batch file to run a series of commands during a workstation task. And I've got some advanced settings. Like for example, I can restart on log off so maybe i want to say that anytime a user logs off then the device restarts and the hard drive is wiped 